It's proved to be a bonfire of vanities for the political establishment in France. The traditional parties who have swapped power ever since the end of the Second World War are not even on the ballot paper today. If elected, Emmanuel Macron at 39 would be the youngest ever president of the Fifth Republic. Marine Le Pen would be the first ever female president. The choice facing the voters couldn't be clearer. Their visions for the future of France are diametrically opposed. The economic question is crucial to me, and so is our relationship with Europe. This is what determined my vote today. The next president's challenge is to bring the country together as it's been torn apart. They will have to create more jobs as well as keeping Republican values. Francois Hollande also made history by being the most unpopular president in France's modern times, reaching a record low of just 4% approval last year, a stark reminder that all political life ends in failure. The constitution designed by Charles de Gaulle was fashioned to keep the extremes of politics at bay in a country recovering from the trauma of Nazi occupation. It's been a hard and bitterly fought campaign full of dramatic twists and turns. The future of the European Union could be decided by the outcome. But the number of people who don't vote could yet be the most important statistic. 50,000 extra police are reinforcing security. The country faces multiple threats, whoever moves into the Elysee Palace. The flowers laid in tribute to the policemen shot dead in the Champs Elysees at the beginning of the campaign may now be fading, but the memories they evoke are still fresh. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Paris.